So I want to show a clip that I found of you because I was like, let me just do some recon because this is like my girl girl. But I'm like, let me just still look around and see what I can find. So I'm so scared right now. Don't be scared, girl. Oh, Lord, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> These are great because you know, you feel like you know someone and then you, you do a little there's extra some things that exist. You're like, <laughs> I'm about to do a podcast, so I'm going to I'm gonna do a little extra research. And then you find something like, oh, I, I knew them, but I didn't know right. this. Can we can we pretend that this isn't happening right now? Yep. Can you make it full screen so we can see? Wait, why is this in 2020? Oh my god, bro, I'm cringing. Oh god. Oh, oh, that was you. Yeah, that was you, her. I didn't even recognize you for a second. I was 17 here. Oh. What are you doing? So this is a Disney show. Yep. I had no idea you were on Disney. There she is. There's oh. The queen. What is that makeup? This is so bad, bro. <laughs> okay, let's turn it off. It's enough. That's oh enough. That's enough. I thought that was like Ansel Elgort for that? a second. Can you tell us about that? Because I just wait, wait, hold on, on. This is crazy. So, <laughs> this is a legit Disney show that you're on. Yes. Oh, okay. I had Girl. no idea. You're trying to be modest over here, like. That's what I'm idea. saying. I'm oh like, what God. the fuck? This bitch never told me that she was on a Disney show. Like, she got Disney money. Me, bro. Okay. <laughs> she getting Disney that royalty, money? royalty okay. check. That's some no money. Okay. <laughs> Little baby Ariana, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> I would love to have Nickelodeon. <laughs> Girl, okay, so what? what's up with that? You just like... Bro, I literally, one... I started this industry like way too early. I'm like, I've been in it for far too long. Blessing and a curse. But yeah, I started yeah. in a pop group when I was 11. From 11 to 21, we were a group. Um, we first started off as like a Christian pop group. We were touring all over churches in Texas. Um, then we, the producer of Proud Family, Doreen Spicer, found us. You know, I love the Proud Family. I love the Proud, Proud Family. Family. <laughs> the Gross Sisters. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> the Gross Sisters are the fucking best. They're like, <laughs> bro, yeah, yeah. I love that show. Honestly, they should do a sequel because it's. Seriously. And do mm. you know Destiny Child sang the um, little. Oh, I know. Yeah. I and know. Then, and then you want to hurt him. That's. Is that when you first fell in love with black women? What? Trudy! <laughs> Trudy! <laughs> Bro, the uncle is the best. Oh, the uncle's the best with the fucking Truly with the like best. the Elvis looking like curl on top. Oh, I forgot about that guy. I love that guy. I do like I do like Kenny Sugar Mama Brad, though. Yeah, we scheming. Sugar Mama. Hey, I was watching that. But did you okay, so one character that I feel like people forget about often is La Cienega Boulevard is his grandpa. The grandpa and he laughs at like that hyena laugh with the with the purple suit and like the slick back hair and he starts dating Sugar Mama. I forgot his name. Her, her name, La Cienega? the the girl, the the one that Penny always gets into an argument with. Wait, I'm thinking of the who's the guy that starts dating Sugar Mama, the grandma? Yeah, the uh, her grandpa. Let me pull it up. I'm Hold on, you. I'm so confused Let right me now. Pull it up for you, just so you can see. La Cienega. Wait, I remember this. Holy yeah. shit. So, okay. so we just gonna like skim over. She was in a Christian. Pop Hold on, no, I just want to show her. I want to show her touring uh, Texas. What uh, was this? Hold on, it's like Christian like Destiny's Child. Like, well, the thing is, like, so one of our group our members, God <laughs> is an awesome <laughs> God. God he made from heaven I just above. need us. That's what I need some <laughs> clips of, like that. Do you remember that guy, right? Yes. And then that laugh. Listen, this laugh is fucking Poppy. epic. <laughs> That's Yo, scary. Poppy was my shit. Yo, he low key looked like the Joker. Absolutely. That purple suit. Yeah. With the green Slick back. Hair. Yeah, what? Yeah, yeah, he's wearing sure. white makeup. 100%. That show, man. Yeah, Doreen found. So, my the youngest group member, Gigi, she was at VidCon, something in whichever one happens in Paris. She was with her mom. Um, and she was like, oh my God, like, you're so interesting. Like, I want to, like, she got to know her a little bit. Turns out, like, her mom was the producer and manager of our group at the time. Um, and basically, Doreen flew to Texas. She was like, I'm going to do a, I'm going to write a pilot around you guys. I find it so interesting. We fought, we shot the pilot at the Woodlands Church in Houston. So bizarre. Um, shopped it. And all these, like, independent, like, HBO, Stars, Kids and Family, Australia, um, Germany, ABC3 in Australia, like, all these different outlets bought it. Yeah. It was on Stars, Kids and Family here. Um, we were going to go with Disney. They ended up wanting to like, this is a the separate show. show or that was the, Dis this, this is the same show, the but Disney it was show. independent outlets through all of these okay. different countries. Yeah. So it was massively successful in Australia on ABC three. Um, you ever been? 
I've never been. Oh, we were God. funny Man. thing. Funny. Th- so it was massively successful there, and then it was massively successful on HBO Kids in South America. So our first stop, we did a tour in Yo, Brazil South America. Is crazy, bro. Wow, Chile, Peru, incredible. Yes. We had this like um, we had this whole thing with Kmart and Sears. We went to all orphanages there, and we would give wow, shoes. It girl. was the coolest experience I've ever experienced. Yeah. Um, we did all of the shows. Um, the second season was premiering there. Right before we were supposed to sign to the third season and do our Australia trip, Cash Money came upon us. Um, oh, God. <laughs> okay, Birdman. <laughs> Lil Wayne's is just you like, done or is you finished? Bro. Lil Wayne's just like, it's a numbers game. Oh, my bro. Like, <laughs> Birdman and Slim flew us out to California. Debbie Reynolds Dance Studio, they showcased us. Love Debbie Reynolds. Love. I love. First dance, or like first showcase, um, they come in with their like giant Escalades and fucking of like, like 40 of them come in deep. And I'm like, we're this kid's group. We're like, the youngest one of us is 13. The oldest is 18. Yeah. They come in like, so y'all, what you going to do for us today? Oh, damn, you got the motherfucking Bro, impression that was, on lock. I was Shay- dead on. God damn, like, Shaylin. Y'all going to perform a few songs for us today? I was like, what? <laughs> I was like, Slim is the tallest guy I've ever seen in my life. I was like, what did he say? Yeah. Um, yeah, so we did a showcase. Not even an hour later, we're sitting at Subway. They send over the contract. They yeah. want to sign us. And at this, like, I'm 17 at this point. Yeah. Fucking crazy shit. They, fl- they fly us to Paris. Two weeks later, we do the album with Red One in Paris. Um, we're about to do the third season. Red One. Bro. I'm sorry, you're living your best life? Bro, and that, or- was, that was in his heyday, too, Red oh, One. That was before. Gaga, I got to say, in Paris, I got to say, Red One, Savvy. And I was like, holy shit, I've made that it. Was the, that Christ. was the era where you just hear the Red One tag. And Bro, you're like, yeah, oh, it's a sure. hit. It's a hit. For sure. And like Cash Money did a venture with him that, it was just insane. It was insane. Um, first pop group they'd ever signed, and... Failed miserably. <laughs> it, was, yeah. uh, it was honestly. So this was a girl group. Or it was like S Club 7. Kind it was of. girls and guys. S, S Club, Club 7, seven style. Was, I love it that. Was crazy, I, bro. I grew up on that. I was I always love like. Club seven. Good God. <laughs> it's, you know That's what it is? White people shit. It's some motherfucking <laughs> yeah. white people. Well, well, wait, it's Australian. Look, thing, I was on right? some Black Street. Yeah, I don't yeah. know what y'all was listening to, but I'm Black Street today. Dream out. Street. Do we remember Dream Street? No, I don't remember Dream Street. Yeah. I think it. though that some, one of their members yesterday or two days ago, rest in peace. It was oh COVID situation. Yeah. Damn. That's was sad. it COVID? We don't know. Just saying. No, but that makes sense why like everyone in Australia loved it. Yeah. S, S Club, Club 7, 7 I think was Australian. Yeah, 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 yeah. they were. Yeah. They had accents and everything. Yeah. I'm trying to think of the of the song that S Club 7 has that what was what was their like main hit? Um everybody dun 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 dun. Is that S Club 7? Is it? I think it is. I don't think that was S Club 7. Oh, I'm fucking not. Uh, maybe, th- oh, actually, I think that might have been. Um, <laughs> I'm fucking. What's the girl group from London? <laughs> Spice Girls. Sorry. Everybody, my young girls, what's up? You're like. Uh, <laughs> I'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want. Oh, hey, girl. <laughs> Gotta love that song. Yes. So, okay, so. So, yeah. So I'm in <laughs> I'm in cheat codes, in case you guys didn't know. We uh we've actually you're with Republic. We've did a song with Republic. Okay. We did one song okay. called Sex. Okay. Which is a flip of salt and pepper. I remember this. So when we did the whole thing, you know, they gave us the whole, you know, we did a bunch of this, like A and R, they're trying to schmooze you. Oh, this is like we had already shot a video for it, you Love know, it. the independent, like cost like five grand. Video got like you know, I don't know what, how many views they got, but it got a decent amount of views. And they're like, nah, screw that video. We're going to give you a way bigger budget, five times the amount. It's going to it's gonna get 10 times the amount of views. Of course, it didn't even break like a million views probably. Yeah. They give us a tour of the label. And I remember this specifically. They're like, you guys want to see the cash the cash money? The vault. The, <laughs> the vault. The vault. They took us into the vault. It's the big like dollar sign on the door yeah. handle. You're like, oh, that was honestly the highlight. No, the highlight crazy. of like, wow, oh my god, I know. this is it's tight. I've been there taking some selfies for show. Bro, this is a tight I, office though. It's a tight office. It's like, Republic oh, office yeah. is fire. Yeah, it's, it's uh, cool. it's really like that whole team is just fire. I honestly now like being in this current position and. No offense to cash money. It just wasn't, it wasn't the right fit yeah. at that time. And but yeah, later. I was just curious, like you did that deal and did it just carry over? Did they do like no. a new deal? I got shelved hardcore. So uh-huh. did they, they let you out of the deal? 
Because I've had friends that have been kind of similar. No, they didn't. It was a battle. But that's what I'm saying. It's, it's still Republic. So yeah. Repu- honestly, at that time though, like they cash just like money we're just gonna entity. give you over to a different branch. You know what's crazy <laughs> is that this was years later that I came to Republic. Like this was like four years later, and they didn't even realize that I was signed to Cash Money at that time. I'm sure it helps though. They're like, do you oh, have yeah. freckles? No, girl, this is like, just some makeup. Oh my god, oh my god, I see like, little I wish I did. Well, why am I like, damn, you keep getting better and better. Oh my god, tell <laughs> me, <laughs> goddamn. No, these freckles, I'm like, it's a little draw, like, guys. NYX, take a look. Oh, I do love NYX, mm. bro. Love it. That's so. Ooh, Sorry, freckle. I was distracted by you. I love it. God, tell me more. <laughs> she, listening. <laughs> um, but yeah, so basically, years later, signed Republic, um, learned a lot about the industry in that time. Um, I was very young, and my group split up, came out to L.A. by myself. Um, so much shit has happened since then, but... I don't I don't think people realize that it's really hard being in a group. I'm, <laughs> I'm in a group. You really have to be on the same page. Luckily, I'm in a group with two other guys, and we, we're, we're pretty easygoing, so anytime, like, somebody feels strongly about, no, we should do it this way, the, the other guys, yeah, whatever. Group... Group but if you're in a, you're in, I couldn't, ima- I, I was actually, I used to be in a group with another girl. I couldn't imagine being in a group with multiple boys and girls. To me, that yeah, sounds, is there any like crazy drama? Obviously, this is a Christian pop group. It was. Was there like judge, some of them were judgy. Like you weren't, you, you stayed up past your bedtime. You, Bro, you I had a, a beer, you had a beer when you turned 18. Like well, there had to have thing. been some drama. Yeah, yeah. We were squeaky clean. So like, I'm sure. And then like somebody, they branched out. They wanted to rebel. You were the <laughs> one. Was, You're the, the Aquarius. You, you, you was, was hitting the, the weed in the back. Oh my God. That wasn't until years later. You signed the cash that. money and Lil Wayne. You guys are Passed all like joint. high. Bro, the first party we went to, it was at the fucking, what is the club on Holly? Is it? Hollywood, it's right behind Sunset and Vine, but it's like this, like the compound, been, fourteen, um, supper club, playhouse. It's like the one. It's uh, okay, of course. It's right Argyle. across from Argyle. Is it across from what is the big record store? Avalon. Right um, Amoeba. 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 It's directly like oh, uh, Warwick. Is it Warwick? It's Warwick, or it's, it used to be uh, the Peppermint, or it could be Hyde. Henry or the the Henry or. Um, 14. I think it's 14. It's 14. I think it's because 14. Because Warwick and 14 are right next to each other. Okay. I used to be a clubhouse. Sorry. Oh, no, no, <laughs> okay, so uh, it's Hello. confirmed. Courtney's been to every club in no, LA. No, 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 no. When, when you're younger and you first moved to LA and you're like cute and all the, you know, promoters are like, promoters okay, are like, come to the like, club. Free, free, oh. free drinks. And you're like, oh, like you need me to get into the club because you like have to have a quota like at your bottle. So it's like, oh, so, I oh, so you cute. I mean, <laughs> whatever, you know, shit. <laughs> back then, you know, Shut whatever. The fuck up. No, y'all know what's up, but um, yeah, no. So I've been like every fucking club. I love that for you, you know. But no, that was like my my first experience. I was seventeen, and it was the first um large line of cocaine in the bathroom with some strippers that I didn't <laughs> indulge. But I like had come from Texas, and <laughs> I topic please. <laughs> You're like, <laughs> we not in Tennessee anymore. I literally, I was like, holy shit! I was like, that is not powdered sugar on a donut. Yeah. Again. I was like, I'm fucked. No. Yeah. I called my mom the next day. I was like, I think I saw cocaine. My brother's like, absolutely love that for you. LA is cocaine. It's made up of cocaine. Honestly, I've never indulged in the drug, but wow. Same. That's funny. I, uh, it's incredible. Yeah. It's incre- I've indulged in some others, but cocaine okay. is not the drug of choice. I feel that. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get in where you fit in, girl. Amen. 